One morning, not so long ago, my housekeeper, Miss Nettles, was making some jam tarts in the kitchen of my little house. The kitchen was also the favorite place of Nobby Mouse. Mm. Let's have a look. Jam? Why not? <laughs> Here we come. Is anything wrong? Everything wrong? Everything wrong? I'm giving notice. Miss Nettles was always giving notice. That's why they invented a special give notice machine for her. Oh, she'd come back, of course, she always does. But in the meantime, who was going to do all the washing up? <laughs> To work. It was indeed. The washing up would have to wait. Morning, Doctor. What was I going to invent today? This is Rickety Rick, a most unusual shed and full of surprises. Thank you, Umbrella. It's nothing. Open up, Ricky. He's in a bad mood. Why is that, Dennis? It rained last night. He hates getting wet. I've work to do, Ricky. Open up. Mm. I want to be alone. He's got a touch of woodworm, I'm afraid. Open up, Ricky. Mm, must I? Please. Mm. Thank you. Good morning, morning, Mr. Snuckles. This is my multi-whereabouts machine. It can tell me where anything is. I wanted to know where Miss Nettles had gone. Perhaps if I asked nicely, she would come back. The multi-whereabouts machine examined Miss Nettles' handkerchief to find out where she had gone. It didn't seem to know. Was this where Miss Nettles had gone? Madam Dumpy Two's house? And there was Miss Dumpy too, with Lord Lewis, her greyhound, beside her. The house is a mess. There's a mouse under the stove. And spiders on the stairs. Spiders? He, he likes them. She was quite right. I do like them. Spiders can't hurt you. That's too much for you, Hilda. Much too much. Oh, much too much. You can't do it all yourself. You need help. Madam Dumpy Too was right. There was too much work for poor Miss Nettles to do by herself. I would try to invent something, something that could do the washing up for her, something that could dust the house, sweep the floors, perhaps even, uh, I know, a robot. A robot? A present for Miss Nettles. A present for her. <laughs> Let's go. It wasn't much to look at, but then it didn't have to be. Walk. 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 <laughs> That work for nothing. What a waste of time. Don't give up, Doctor. Try again. Try again. Ah, Ticker was right, of course. Sometimes you learn by your mistakes. 
I had to try harder, that was all. Mm. Being an inventor is hard work. Robots are such complicated things to make. Let's see now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm afraid we'll have to try again. <laughs> Time to take a bath. There's work to be done. You must help too, you know, mustn't he? Uh, Dennis would look after him. He showed him the badger graph. You see, before I make anything, I draw a plan of it first. And then I can see just what bits I shall need. Well, I was so busy looking for things, I didn't see that Nobby Mouse was up to his tricks again. <laughs> now then, let me see, possibly a bit smaller. What can I use? Perfect. Dear me, you keep popping up, don't you? I'll look after you. <laughs> and Dennis and Ringo and Tingo, his mouse helpers, started the badger graph. They worked very hard. And at last it was finished. It was exactly right. This robot would work. A brand new face. As you can see, it's going well. Just don't stand there, get moving. At last we were beginning to make progress. Just what I was looking for. Hmm? Thank you. The legs. The body. And the head. And now she was finished. Ringo and Tingo brought the oil. And then it was time to switch on. Shall we dance? It's all right, my dear. No bones broken. did it mean? Perhaps she liked us. Was that it? Time for lunch. Right. I must get a message to Miss Nettles. She has someone to help her now. What shall we call her? Um, Matilda. Matilda Junkbottom. Matilda Junkbottom. Inside his warm little house, Kootfoot the messenger bird was fast asleep as usual. It's time you had the chimney swept, Snuggles.
Well, where's the message? It's for Miss Nettles. She's staying with Madame Dumpy too. Do you want Miss Express? Yes, please. A message for Miss Nettles. Oh? A message for Miss Nettles. Uh, any reply? Oh, I don't know. You'd better wait. Uh. Please come back. I have someone to help with the housework. Who? He doesn't say. <laughs> Tell him I'm coming. Tell him she's coming. Sir! <coughs> but when I went back to Rickety Rick, I couldn't get Matilda to work at all. She just sat in a heap and stared in front of her. Something was very wrong. I listened carefully through my junkoscope. Had I forgotten something? Ah, he's in Rickety Rick! Ah, that bird's crazy! Miss Nettles was already on her way home. I had to get Matilda working again. She's coming! Miss Nettles, what am I going to do? What's wrong, Matilda? What is it? Hmm, another heart. Of course. That's what was wrong. Matilda needs a heart. Hooray for Dr. Nettles! But where could I find one? What type is it? We need a heart for Matilda. You would help, wouldn't you? Me? Certainly not. Just for the time being? No, absolutely not, and that's final. If Ticker wouldn't help, who would? It was a terrible problem. And then, quite suddenly, I knew the answer. My lazy old alarm clock. Dr. Snuggles? I sent Benji and Freddy to get the alarm clock. Miss Nettles? Miss Nettles was looking for Nobby oh. Mouse. <laughs> I'll get you. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Dr. Snuggles wants you. Uh, what for? You're going to be a heart. A heart? Matilda's heart. Why me? Oh, no! Come back! Miss Nichols! Looking for me? Oh! Uh, I'll get you! Oh. 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 What's happening? It's going to be a heart! A heart! <gasps> Alarmed. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Come on, mustn't keep Dr. Snuggles waiting. So, holding the frightened alarm clock gently but firmly, the two rabbits set off with him to find their way back to Rickety Rick. You're going to have a heart, Matilda. The rabbits are bringing it now. She doesn't seem very excited. I don't want to be a heart! I don't want to be a heart! Him. 
They've lost him. We'd better tell Dr. Snuggles. Where were those rabbits? <laughs> Dr. Snuggles! Where's my alarm clock? <laughs> he got away. He doesn't want to be a heart. Miss Nettles is back. We must find my alarm clock. Dennis began to organize a search party. Do you know where he is? In a bush in Snug Wood. But which bush? We all left Rickety Rick in search of my runaway alarm clock. You try that way, Benji. Dennis, that way. Uh, Freddy, that way. All right. I found him. I don't want to be a heart. But you won't just be any heart. You'll be Matilda Junkbottom's heart. Matilda who? Matilda Junkbottom. I'd rather not. Come and meet her, please. So we took the alarm clock into Rickety Rick and introduced him to Matilda Junkbottom. That's her? Matilda Junkbottom? But, but she's, she's beautiful. Do you really think so? Oh, yes. And you'll be her heart. I'd love to be her heart. What? Mouse? Yes, yes, the mouse. mouse. What's that? Matilda Junkbottom, I've invented her. Matilda Junkbottom, Miss Nettles. Miss Nettles, Matilda Junkbottom. Huh? Well, Matilda seemed to like Miss Nettles, but I don't think Miss Nettles was too happy about Matilda. No, no. Uh, Ma Matilda, stop it. Matilda, I don't think Miss Nettles wants to dance. Oh, oh, Dr. Snuggles, please. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, no, get away. Get away. Oh, oh, dear. No, 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 get away. Come back. Put me down, you animated ash can. Put me down. watched until Matilda and Miss Nettles vanished beneath the water. Oh! A fine homecoming this has turned out to be. And where's the person who got to help me with the housework? Well... That? That mechanical maniac? Huh. But, Miss Nettles, you don't understand. Miss Nettles! Oh, Matilda, if only you hadn't danced with her, especially in the pond. You were supposed to help her. Uh, Mat Matilda, come back! What was she going to do now?
Miss Nettles, where is Matilda? Have you seen her? There. The house? Oh, my goodness. Matilda, Matilda, turn off the taps. Matilda, please listen to me. <laughs> it's nothing to laugh about. We must stop her. My home is in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> then Nobby Mouse did a very brave thing because he couldn't swim at all, you see. He jumped on the book, found a paddle, and began paddling himself over to the sink. <laughs> He couldn't do anything. He'd done it. The great Snuggles flood was over. So when Miss Nettles came back, the kitchen was as clean as clean, and so tidy she could hardly believe her eyes. I was still working on Matilda. We couldn't have any more accidents. Well, could we? She was very ticklish. That's Benji and Freddy, and that's Dennis. Quiffy and Quaffy, uh, her family, and Hugo the Frog. Nice to meet you, Matilda. You see, we all want to be friends. Don't you know what a friend is? Oh dear, how can I explain? Of course, Miss Nettles took some time to get used to Matilda. But Matilda worked well and did whatever Miss Nettles told her to do, so that in the end, they became friends. Which, of course, was just what I hoped would happen. <laughs> <laughs>